Hello everyone, Bert. welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be touring a very, an up and coming full interior RMS Olympic by Ice Monster. Hello. He's going to be giving us a guided tour of the ship. So, shall we begin? Uh, okay. Right, so wh where do you want to go first? Uh, we can start from the boat deck and just go from the bridge back. Okay. So here we have the um, the ship's wheelhouse from the looks of things. Uh, and you can see... Oh, sorry, were you speaking? Of? Looks very lovely. I like the telegraphs. They look nice. I want yes, to try something. And then there is some a quite a unique feature is that you'd notice that the wheelhouse is actually curved. Yes. Which was something that was on Olympic and was changed later in her career. And was also not on Titanic or Britannic. I think it's interesting. Uh, what I wonder why they decided to do that in the first place. It's such a weird yeah. little design feature. Oh man, I just found I like while I was doing the optimization stuff to try to get this loaded in faster. I found out you can turn off the stupid little thing that's like click here to open the door. And it's actually <laughs> really mu it looks much nicer without that. Okay, so also yeah, there there is no rudders in it yet. Yeah. Here we have the telephones. Yes. Um, I can't exactly remember where each of them go to. Here you can see we've got all our controls. We've got a clock there. We've got interior lights and light the boilers. So I think I'll light the boilers because that doesn't really cause any lag. And the then down the bottom, these three here start up um, all three engines. Uh, what three at the bottom? Where? Beneath the telephones. Oh. I think I'll actually turn them all on. Cool. I'll start. I'll get the ship moving actually. And so we just turn on those three. I'll actually quickly teleport over to the oil rig just to show everyone what she looks like moving. And then we start up the. Start moving the engines from the telegraphs. Oh. I. Uh, oh, I no. could have. What, what is the it? hell? What is it? Uh, the stern is. Phasing through the bow. Wait, wait, what? I literally have no better way to describe it. That is exactly what is happening. The it's stern okay, is I'm, I'm, the stern I'm is moving. Engines. The bow is not. Uh, am I? I'm not screen sharing on Discord. Let me just. The yeah, it, it's because the third and fourth funnel this... have merged. Oh no! It is now it's a. We are now down to a it's three. <gasps> that are. Oh no. It's a three funnel Titan. <laughs> oh, now the bow's moving. Slowly. This is so weird. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, it's because it's because the the engines are in the. Oh third. wait, no! I figured it out. What? The bow is on delay. Because now the bow's moving, ah. but the stern is slowing down. The stern's still moving forward slightly, but it's slower. Okay, right. So I think we'll not move, because this is clearly a Stormworks issue. I have... Uh, yeah, sorry for that, everyone. Now you get to see some of the lovely <laughs> bugs that this game has. Yes, there's nothing I can do about that until the, the developers fix it. Yeah, that is a strange bug. I have never seen anything like that before. And as the, we are now almost back to normal. <laughs> almost. That is so funny. Yes. That that is quite hilarious. Uh, I'm now standing on the stern as it as the. <laughs> yeah, that is really weird. Yeah, that should be it now almost. Okay, yeah. So we're we're not going to move the ship anymore until. Um, the developers decide to fix the game. Yeah, that... Hopefully that's just a multiplayer issue, and when this is with you guys, it, you lovely viewers watching, uh, yeah, this does Yeah, in single player, happen. that's not an issue at all. I have in no idea... In single player, it runs great with no problems. I have no idea what could have even caused this here. The ship is basically back to normal now. <laughs> uh, wow. I've... No... In my entire time playing Stormworks, I've never seen e re re anything even remotely like that. So, yeah, that is 
Okay, um, maybe we should continue the tour on the um, the let, bow right now until the stern just, sorts itself out. Let me just hop into the wheelhouse here. It's so weird without the uh, the little indicator things. It's like, hey, click here to open this or click on that or, you know. Yeah. Alright, so, so. Yeah. Do you want to go into the cabin sitting room? Yes. So, so as he just said, cabin sitting room. Right here. So here, his bedroom, I think, does need a little bit of work. Because it's missing, it's missing the wardrobe, loads of drawers and everything. It's just the bed in there just now. Because yeah. there are small, little, tiny details that still need to be finished, finalised. Now, if I'm not mistaken, all the interior that is on currently on the bow, like rooms and stuff, has already been laid out, right? So... No, ev everything is done, apart from, like, a few couple wee, like drawers or something missing in a room like that's pretty much it and then the um drawers and everything in the purser's office that's the only thing that's not finished on the bow awesome heading further aft um this is some... the chart chart room ah so something you guys may notice as we are exploring the olympics officer's quarters is that it is quite different from the titanics in Many, many ways. Well, here's a pretty big chart, one. Chart room in here? Yes. Lovely I mean, room. It must be quite annoying from this, because, see, because the walkways up here have the big overhang on them. You can't see out the window. It's blocked. Oh, yeah, and the staircase that goes from the from boat deck to a deck is blocked, is covered. It's very nice. So here we have First Officer Murdoch's cabin. Uh, was he a first officer on the Olympic? Oh no, sorry. I mean, I mean, uh, First Officer's cabin. Yeah. And then, um, that's just the doorway to outside. Get out. Here we have crew, sort of bathroom facilities. So yeah, this is a, yeah. we should probably not do every single room because the ship is, again, near full interior. So yeah. we will we do all do... of the passenger cabins though, because I'm excited to see those. So this is Marconi wireless room. Mm -hmm. Another pretty major difference with departure from the Titanic. Because it would be normally here. Yes. Against here. Then you can also see on the floor there, there's an expansion joint. Oh, yep. Which goes past. Officer's smoke room. I was wondering what this is. It is very nice. I'm surprised they got such a nice smoke room on the Olympic. Yeah. And then here we have the main attraction. The Grand Staircase. We have not seen... Uh, did this ship have an elevator gear room? Uh, no. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I might, I might add it. I probably will. But yeah, it would be through this door here. Oh, hold on, I... And this and for multiplayer, this does run pretty well. It's not it's not Jay Killen's Titanic, but it is still pretty nice. In here, it would be the store here. Awesome. Uh, when you plan on building this, do you plan on making like a budget edition? Um, I'm not really too sure. All right, and through here we have the gymnasium, as well as all of the gym equipment. Now, these are the rooms for the accommodations, honestly, didn't really change all that much from the Olympic to the Titanic. Then also, um, this is also, I would like to mention, this is the Grand Staircase that won Jesse Gillette's Grand Staircase Challenge. Yes. And that you can see sort of around the dome, it's all blocky. I implemented the feature where I had door frames which went all the way around the center to sort of make it when water reached that, water would all flood in. But for some reason that didn't work and it then made ah. the full inside of the Grand Staircase all terrain water, which is quite upsetting. That's a shame. Could have, been, could have been so cool when eventually that reaches the water level, all that water just gushes in from there. Yes, but sadly it seems that that will just have to be regular wedges. Yeah. 
that's just Stormworks again for you. Mm-hmm. Even though we have, have a door frame, it still goes through. Yes, forward we have passengers cabins, but you know, no, I don't believe there are any actual cabins down there, are there? No. Okay. So we're just gonna head aft into the first class, you know, reading and writing room lounge and stuff. And then you may notice um, at the wall there of the lounge, there's a weird color that is an error that ah. will be fixed, of course. I've also the lounge has many errors in it. I've also noticed that there isn't a revolving door. Yeah. Anyways, going through here. Reading and writing room. We have the first class reading and writing room. One of the, another again a room that ha just hasn't frankly been seen too much in uh, movies about the Olympic or the Titanic. As well because as there is video games. Also, one room or actually there's quite a lot of rooms that have never been seen in Stormworks before on an Olympic class ship, which will be quite interesting to see. Like the galleys and stuff, correct? Yeah, well, um, the galleys aren't in yet. They will be in yeah. In the next few weeks. Yes, they will I be mean, implemented. Like, they will be added into this version. Oh, I just noticed the... Yeah, that's the errors I was talking about. Yes. Because I was copying and pasting corridors in. Yeah. And then you can also see the walls as well. They have a different shade of brown. Mm -hmm. So these are obviously all errors which are going to be corrected. So the lounge is going to need some major fixing before the before it releases, but here's a general idea of what it will look like. And, and then you can also well. see yeah, that it's a different color there which needs to be changed and also this corridor here. Uh this corridor. Um, uh it seems yeah. like they were covering up some windows on the other side. Yeah, I was using the symmetry tool on the other side, but then I forgot to turn it off. I um, made so that. So it sort of made that, yeah. <laughs> Earlier today we were actually talking about the time I made that mistake, so. Here we have the aft grand staircase and the oh, smoking yes. room. The after grand staircase, smoking I pretty room. much completely blew past the aft grand staircase, but. <laughs> Here yeah. is what the smoking room looks like. Honestly, one of my favorite rooms on the Olympic yep. class ships. Although I will Never admit, seen before in a one-to-one -one scale. I will admit but I do it... like the Titanics more, but that is not a fault of yours. This looks absolutely fantastic. And here we have the accurate painting as well, Approach to the New World. Yes. Because people always make the mistake of having that painting on Titanic, which in fact I had a different painting. Do you... And then if the lights were on, there would also be sort of the fireplace would light up as I put a coal firebox in there. Yes. So it would sort of make simulate a fire, as it was the only functional fireplace on the ship. Yes. Uh, heading aft, we have the Palm Court and Veranda Cafe. Uh, would, do you know which one is the Palm Court and which one's the Veranda Cafe? Because I'm not lying, I uh, say that I don't. No. <laughs> I don't think... Does it really matter? I mean, no, because they're basically the one, exact same One has room. a door into it, and the other one doesn't. I mean, yeah, aside from that little walkway, they are basically the same room. Yeah, and then it's almost identical on the other side, as you're about to see... Yeah, no, minus the door in the back. It is the exact same room. So, you know. But it does look very nice. And the poop deck, sadly, has not been detailed yet, but that will happen. Yep, that's the only part of the exterior that still needs to be finished. Yes. And there was also swings here. Wait, really? Yeah, swings have come down from that. So huh. I was wanting to um, use rope coming down from it and then attach it to a few blocks. But then I thought how that would look when the ship was moving, and it yeah. wouldn't really look that good. You could do um, piping instead. Yeah, but then I sort of felt as though, like if when the ship's sinking, it would sort of look a bit weird because they're at the same angle. That's fair. So you know, I guess it's better just not at it. But I think actually first we should maybe do a little stroll down the promenade into the aft grand staircase. Actually, yeah, that's fair. That way we can point out some of the lovely details over there. This is also one of the first uh, ones I've seen to have second class in it, so that's exciting. Yep. We'll get to second that. Second class is in progress. Mm -hmm. Two of the three second class public rooms have been built. So the only one that still has to be built is the dining saloon. Everything else has been built. And yeah. 
uh, one of the main differences between the Olympic and the Titanic is that the Olympic had a fully open promenade with just the bars rather than and not having the and then cover up. You the can front. also see just in front of you an, an expansion joint as well. Yes. On the Titanic, this would be the expansion joint around which the ship broke up, if I'm not mistaken. Like, yes. Actually being a major contributing factor to the breakup. But Interestingly then I enough, would the say... gap is actually mostly gone. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I can see flashes of it as the bow and stern bob look hmm. close to separately, but like... I, it's not like I'm going to fall through it or anything, which is really nice. Yeah. I would say, though, that the expansion joint does overall do more good than bad. Yes. Uh, on, and honestly, the ship was going to trying to break up around that spot even even without the expansion joint. So, yeah, it just happened that the it just really hap was happenstance. Just a neat little thing to point out, like, ah, this is about where the other ship broke up. Okay, so a really cool thing is that we have the a la carte restaurant, which has never been seen before in Stormworks. Yes, uh, JP Ships definitely didn't have it. Jay Killen didn't have it, and... Zequan doesn't have it. Yeah, Zequan didn't even have it, which he had um, most of the interior, even if it was not entirely accurate. And then you can also see there, at the back of the room, there is also a piano, which was only on Olympic. Yes. And then the panelling from this room, the really interesting thing, is that it still exists today on Celebrity Millennium. Really? Yeah, Celebrity... it's a restaurant... Called the Olympic, or I think this little, yeah, little, little, uh, the Olympic restaurant. And also huh, another really I cool will... view. If you look here and look all the way down that corridor, there you can see all the way down to the front of the ship where the door opens up onto the bow. Yes, that is wow. That's a view you don't get on the Titanic. That is kind of insane yeah. with just how much there is. And unfortunately, though, Olympic does not have a Prozian calf. But she did get one in her later career. Yes. She. But we do. Ha another thing we do have here that I don't believe has been seen too many times on the, uh, on. Uh, Starmarks is the is this B deck promenade because even I mean Zequan has it yes but it's not. I mean it's a little bit awkward. It's not actually on um. Later in Olympic's career, some cabins were actually built on it. And, and yes, actually, windows do need to be added. Yes. yes. They've been added on the port side. Oh, but well, I then guess we can I just quickly forgot. head over there. Then I guess, I guess I just forgot to copy paste them over this side. Then now, you can see here that there's also gates. Oh, I'm going to quickly move over to the other side. That way we can see the windows too. You can see there are gates which cut off the yes. second class from the first class promenade. Now, but, uh... I had a pretty interesting rant complaint about B deck, and when we were um, touring, when he was built, still working on this, and I'm just gonna let him talk about that here. With the cabins. Yeah, so, I I did some research and I found that there really wasn't that much information on. Olympics B deck cabins at all, or first class B deck cabins at least. So that's why there isn't actually any at all. But there is plenty on C deck first class cabins, which will be yeah. very cool to check out. I just I found the... it absolutely hilarious that there just weren't with any pictures. I'm sure there is somewhere. It's just I haven't I mean, found them yet. Yeah. And then there also needs to be a hand railing added here beside the windows. Yes. Then heading into the Grand Staircase Forwards. once again. Before Grand so I am, I'm considering adding an elevator shaft. Oh, yeah. But I really want to see how, like, when the ship's fully finished, how the ship performs, and then depending on that, I'll add them. Alright. And... So yeah, on B-Deck, there really yeah. isn't too much to see. It's just another level of the Grand Staircase. And then the big, long corridor over to the aft Grand Staircase. Yes. Actually, 
I'm gonna get the view of the a la carte corridor from the other side. Let me yes. just quickly head down this way. Because I am really curious to see. This is basically just a second Scotland Road. Honestly, this might actually be longer than Scotland Road by a little bit. Yeah, I, I actually think it would be, yeah. Because it's not obstructed. Because Scotland Road was sort of... Obstructed by the obstructed. engine room. Obstructed, yeah. That is a really insane... That is an insane view. Yeah. And then, yeah, that just goes I, outside. It wouldn't be like that in the real ship, though, because it would have the doors for the corridors covering it. Yes. But then also here we have a good view of the, the bow and well deck oh. forwards here. Yes, give me a second to just get over there. And I think because of that, we should maybe take the time to go onto the bow. Actually, yeah, because this is fully detailed. I don't think we should maybe go to C deck third class yet. Yeah, uh, we can. I think we should tour the ship by class first. So we'll do yes. first class, then we we'll do third class because I'm pretty sure there's more stuff done for third class than second class. Then because we'll hop over all to... all of those doors there, there's interior. Yes. That will be so cool to look at, and we can start checking that out once we get to the um. Once we get to it, here we have the uh forward. We have the forecastle and everything. Yep. And all of the windlasses and anchors, and they just look fantastic. I have no idea how long it took you to do this, but it must have been. I mean, honestly, I think it only took me two hours. Yeah, that's a pretty long time. <laughs> that's because I had um I mean, lots of reference pictures up on another screen, yes. so I just had to just keep look looking over to them and just building it from that. And I mean, for how much detail is here, and there is one, there is one room I am excited for everyone to see, and I have no idea how it long it took him, but we'll get there. I don't know what room we were talking about, but I guess we'll find it when we get there. We're standing on top of it. Oh, right. And then also, the mast, I really need to sort out the angle of the mast, because you can see here, it's going straight up, and for some reason, the, uh, whatever you call them, aren't tilting it backwards. And then whenever I do, the mast sort of just wobbles around and the ship moves. So that's an issue which needs to be resolved. I think I have a fix for that in my head, but, you know, we can wait until after... We're done with the tour yeah. and stuff too. And also, um, before you got back up the stairs, I think it'd be a cool thing over here to look at this little skylight here, which looks all the way down to the squash court. That was on the Titanic too, right? Yeah. yeah. And Britannic. Actually, I don't think it would be in Britannic because it had the big cargo yeah. holds which went over this side. Although they do kind of cut off here, so I wonder... Yeah. But I think they cut off there so you can actually walk through that bit. Yeah, so I don't think that was actually there in Botanic. Weird. So yeah, and yeah, by the way, this isn't just going to be an Olympic. There's also going to be a Titanic and a Britannic. How many versions With... of each ship are there going to be? And what versions are there? Um, I'll, I'll need to go over it on my head quickly while, while we're walking here. Yes. So Olympic Maiden Voyage version, Olympic 1913 refit, With all the Olympic um, Dazzle Paint, for World War One, and the infamous Green Staircase. So that would be four versions of the Olympic. Then for Titanic, we obviously have just Titanic and Titanic 2. So that's uh, two versions of the Titanic and six ships in total we're up to. Then for Britannic, we obviously just have Hospital Ship and RMS version. So we are up to eight different um, kind eight different Olympic class liners with their own interiors and stuff. Own interiors and differences and all that so stuff. So we'll head, head down to Sea Deck now, and this is where things get quite exciting. So Purser's office here. On the inside, it's still unfurnished. That's one thing I need to still need to do. Yep. I'm curious as to what you meant by exciting, but... Oh, well, cabins. Ah, yes, cabins. Let's go. And then you can also see an interesting design feature with the staircase in this level. 
is that they did have cherubs here, smaller ones, and then the, the staircase ba balustrade actually curved round instead of it being straight. Huh, interesting. And then also on this side here, uh, we actually had the cloakroom instead of more cabins, which you see in Titanic and Britannic. So yeah, this is where you'd just like, if you had like a jacket or something on, you would just take it off and hang it up here. Yeah, and then forward that, we just have more boring corridors, we don't really need to look at them. Yes. But then I think, oh well, yeah, you decide, I mean, they're both identical, but you can see many doors here. So here we are, I think it's probably best you could get a torch out for this. The the Regal Suite. Oh, I didn't C see that piping up there. fifty five sitting room. I didn't see the piping. Oh, yeah. And this, this is looks... one of the only rooms which utilizes paint blocks. This is absolutely fantastic. I love the way it all looks. Um, the most expensive cabin on the Olympic. I mean, no duh. I'm pretty sure it's actual gold that they used to gild the thing. And then heading... I really don't think it would have been actual gold, though, because well, yeah. the mean... amount that they used, really... That's Again, fair. even like the smallest chunk of gold is worth thousands. So here we have the bedroom for that, for this room. Again, absolutely glorious. Looks beautiful. And then heading... the bathroom for it. Yeah. And then we also have a connecting... It also serves as a connecting hallway between this cabin. Yes. And also, in both of these cabins, they also have small cloakrooms. Yes. And then now going down here, we come into another one. So just so you know, on each side it's pretty much identical, so you're not missing out. Yes. Here we have, I believe that this is the um, Queen Anne style cabin. Yeah. This is like one of the only ones that I remember the style name of. It's got like pink panelled walls and stuff. Yes, it is very interesting. Really, really dark wood. Yeah. So I've, I've not included every single one, but I've added um, quite a few to have sort of good roleplay. So yeah, out of curiosity, um, yeah. how many ships do you want to have done by the, the end of this year again? Um, Olymp Olympic class and Lusitania, Mauritania, and Aquitania. And yeah, if you can find deck plans, they'll all have de decent interiors. This is another interesting cabin. It's got green floors, white walled paneling, and some... Again, the lovely piping, although I've seen that in all of the rooms. It is very Just so you know, Lusitania, Mauritania, and Aquitania will have less interior than the Olympic class. Yes, of course. Mainly yes. because there's just less information on their interiors. Because yep. Olympic class interiors were document are documented so much in so many games, photos, videos, etc films yeah here we have the barber shop sadly it does not seem to be accessible yes it's because i found issues with scaling i ah. was going to put it in but then i found out that the engine ventilation sort of collided with the area where it should be i see i would have included it it's just that there's yeah, that just small not issue. enough room but also i'm um, doing this corridor here a bit yeah. This door at the end of it, which leads into third class open space. That door would only be for third class open space. Crew though, I mean second class. Yes. So that, that would only be for crew to go through though. Yeah. So we'll quickly head back aft, or head back yep. forward. On, or is there something the... where you want to? Nope. There's nothing else on sea deck, apart from second class, which we'll get to later. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I just looking at the insane amount of detail here, it just amazes me every single time I go through it, really. So, are you happy with the amount of cabins that are included? Yeah, no, it's honestly more than I was expecting. Yeah, and, and then on Titanic, it will have all of these cabins, including the private promenade suites and everything. Yes. So, it will have more cabins because it's just more info in them. And then Heading, down here, we have the first have... class reception room and dining room. Yep. And here we have the historically accurate tapestry here as well. Yep. Just shine a little light on that. Looks absolutely fantastic. 
the candelabra also looks very nice. Yep. Plus, they can do with the skill we've got. And then I decided to, for the um, double portholes on this deck, I decided to just have the portholes being shown and then just put glass in front of it because I sort of wanted it to make it look like there was actually portholes behind it yes. and not just solid blocks. Like when you're looking at it from the outside, he wanted it to look like, to be able to see the room. In You have a piano in the corner there. And then yep. here you'll notice we have the five window arrangement. Uh, and then I also I decided to, to make the decision to make the tables, um, um, what would you say, um, set with glasses yeah. and napkins and everything to sort of give it that better atmosphere. Yes. It looks they're empty. absolutely fantastic. Yeah, maybe shine a bit of light on the floor there. And yeah, Probably the floor looks to... great too. Especially with no paint blocks whatsoever. And yeah. then of course, in the coming weeks through this door will be the galley, which I will add in the coming weeks. Yep. And then also, um, right in the middle there we have the captain's table. It's the large oval one. Looks very, very nice. So I think now we will, I think first we'll, we'll look at the boarding doors and then I think from there we'll look at that and go down to the uh, squash court because yes. you can't really get to that from any other decks really. Yeah. So on the first, for the first class boarding doors, uh, I, I love the lattice work you did. And yes. I have toured the ship a... once before. If you guys do want to see that as a video, I just wanted to re-record it with how much had been added. It yeah, I better. think it could be a cool up idea to upload that as well because it shows sort of the progress. Yeah. And then you also do have here. You missed this. And then uh, we have stair a uh, crew stairwell, which was only on Olympic, which goes down to Scotland Road. Yes. Lovely little crew staircase here, and we will see the bottom where that leads. Actually, very, very soon. But interestingly enough, the other side doesn't have that. I mean, actually, that's not really much of a question because there isn't a Scotland Road on that side. But the staircase is missing, which means it, which is which is definitely interesting, as a design choice just in general. And then also, you may have noticed as well that this deck is actually taller than all the other ones. I actually didn't, and now that you pointed out, it is, definitely. Because they, they decided to make it taller to sort of give it that more luxurious and open, airy feel. And I think it worked. It looks abs it does look very, very good. Yeah, and you may notice that these corridors do look slightly bland, but that's what they were like. It's sort of the flat ceilings and just the flat walls. Then also, if you just come down this corridor here, we can then go down to the squash court. Yes. And the mailroom. Yeah, the mailroom. Because room those too. aren't. I don't think the mailroom has actually been shown on a Stormworks ship before. No, nope, it hasn't. Neither is the squash court. Oh, I'm surprised so... you actually. Huh. I expected those to be actual, like, Stormworks stairs. Nope. Because these ones sort of had the, the brown and the white tops to them. Yep. It would just make them a bit annoying to go up and down. So, along okay. down here, yes. is the squash court. Heading down and around. And then you can also see from earlier, you can look up and see the skylight. Yep. Very nice. It it's is... sad, though, that the sun never shines high enough for it to look down to it. Yeah, that would but have you been... you can still see the sky. A definitely interesting view see that and probably at this level you would hear all the boiler rooms because right below us is the coal bunkers and the boiler rooms yes that's an exciting which we will be checking out because they are included 
Yeah, no, um, he's also going to include all of the lower deck rooms, thanks to Volpe's V for providing a decent, um, uh, reference for that, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yeah, that Britannic game, yeah. Heading down, we have, we have the, the first mail class mail room. Actually, no, it's just the mail room. There, there isn't a second class mail room, I don't know why I said that. There is no mail hold, though, I find interesting. Was that just... Yes. Was that just a thing with the Olympic, or...? No, it, it did have it. I just decided to not include it, because... So I could... Sort of, down there, there was loads of, um... Wedges and everything. I mean, loads of... Physics bodies, so I decided to just fill that area with a physics flutter. Ah. Just to increase the performance. Because I thought it'd be much better in the long run, because... The majority of people isn't going to see that. So it'd be better to prioritise that for performance. Fair enough. So, do you want to go up to D deck and then take the Grand Circus down to E deck, or do you want to just nah, stay on E deck? Nah, we should just stay on E deck. So, I think we should maybe go forward to the Grand Circus of E deck. You mean aft? Yeah. Yes. Go aft. Yes, we are heading aft, and I something, and I think this is just kind of an optical illusion, is that. It feels like it's a longer distance between the uh, elevator and the grand staircase on the Olympic, as opposed to, or on hmm. E deck, as opposed to the other ones. Maybe it's because you've got, you've got in reality, to... you had all these doors separating it, the corridor. Well, no, because like this would sort of be like a second Scotland Road if all these doors were open. Yeah, I'm just talking about like from the elevator to. The grand staircase it feels lo a lot longer because you have to walk around yeah. and there's like a wall blocking it and all that stuff so yeah so i think first we should check out turkish baths and swimming pool yes that is included because you, you can only access them from this deck and we also have the cooling room as well which has never been seen before yep. yeah the turkish baths and the cooling room have never been seen before so we first have... we should maybe go around here though oh I have no idea what this actually is. It looks like a shop front, but I just have no idea what it is. It's included on every single Olympic deck plan and picture, but I just don't know what it is. It looks like a shop. Weird. But I don't know why I did have a shop down at this level. Have you been able to see pictures of what what it what looked like inside? Uh, no. Because no one ever took pictures down here. It was only, like, um, images that people have created. Yeah. And then for the first time ever, we have the Turkish baths. And yep. also, yep, you I'm may just... notice that they were quite different on Olympic. Yeah, the F-Deck arrangement plans are completely different from Olympic to Titanic. And how it has portholes to the outside. Um, ignore the water. That is completely normal. Yeah, the ship does, sadly, because of how much interior and how much weight there is, the ship is pushed down to the point where there is... um. But I am planning to remove some weight blocks. Not so much that it's going to cripple the ship's stability. Just uh, enough so. Do you think there's any way you could increase the, um, or decrease the weight of the funnels? Because that could uh, help. It's a. I don't really think they would weigh much, though. I mean, yeah, but, it, you know, I think we're just going to kind of. It's kind of a everything that could, does help kind of thing. Hmm. At least in my mind. Cool. Wait, like, three seconds. Okay, hello. Hello. Right, okay. So. Yeah, so, I think you've probably went in to see it already, but... Yes, it's the I cooling did. room. That's the cooling room back there. It looks really good. And yeah, I'm just gonna shine my light on everything real quick, just to show everyone. Yeah. How and this has all been made without paint blocks at all. Yeah, no. His mission with this was to make it as lagless as possible by just exclu banning the use of paint blocks, essentially. Minus unless that white cabin on. Yeah, unless it is really important features like Grand Circus Clock and important pictures on walls. Watertight doors look actually really interesting. I'm surprised you didn't just use, like, wedges or something. Yeah, I used, um, glass. Here we have the pool. It looks very nice. Um, well, okay, it doesn't look as nice as the Britannics did, but, you know. Yeah. 
Oh, um, is this an error over here, or... Uh, yeah, that's an okay. error, yep. Because I'm like, that would be some really interesting tiling if that was historically accurate. Yeah, because you, if you shine a light on the proper tiling, you can see it's sort of like a light bluish... A light blue and a white. Checkered. It's... And that also here we have the torture chambers. <laughs> In reality, they were showers, right? Yep. But they would just shoot you with water from all different directions, and it was probably really scary. Yeah, that they don't, they never exactly looked welcoming. Because I remember I went to a hotel once, and did they have? I used the shower, right? And I, I'm just like like pretty much everyone. I'm used to just normal showers where you turn on a lever, eh. and it just comes from the top. But I turn on this lever. And just from all different directions, water just comes shooting at me, and I'm absolutely terrified. <laughs> so I think now we go to Scotland Road. Yes. So there is, there is a doorway which goes further up the corridors there, but it's yeah. just corridors, really boring corridors. Here we have a steward's um, bathroom. And just a little wall that needs painting. Ah, yes, that as well. Yeah, that's the good thing about doing these tests is that we can have loads of people looking around the ship and checking for errors. Yeah. Because it is really easily missed when you're building such a large creation. It's not even, like, something I'm, like, trying to see. I just, like, I'm looking there like, oh, that's wrong. That looks weird. That looks off. Yeah, here we have stewards. Stewards, berths. Yes. And then forward of that, you can see the staircase from earlier. Yep, and that heads up to the reception room, so... If you ever need a quick way out of the bottom valves of the ship, that's how you do it. Now, you may notice the that thing... Scotland Road does cut off. Uh, that's because he hasn't quite added it on the stern yet. Yep. So I think we should leave the boiler rooms for now. I think yeah, we now can... we've done all of first class, we can now look at the third class. Now, a lot of third class is just, just appears to be corridors and stuff, so there isn't yeah. really much reason to go down there. I'll go down there quickly just to show them what they what these corridors will look like. Uh -oh. oh, I just noticed. Uh, -oh. uh, there does appear to be missing uh -oh. railing here. Yep, missing railing there as well. But yeah, it's all just really corridors down there. It's nothing really that interesting. Yep. That's all it really is. But then up up a deck there, you can see the third class open space, which is interesting. And then, yeah, then and we like can most... head further up after that, and then we can see some of the coolest room, the probably the coolest room. Or do you want to save that for when we've done everything else, all the passenger stuff? Well, I mean, if we're doing the bow here, then we will inevitably get to it. Actually, no, we'll, we'll do third class, and then when we then move into the crew areas, we'll then see it. Yeah. So here we have the open space, very nice, very lovely, and we do need to head uh, down Scotland Road for something. Uh, we did not check out the third class dining room yet. Oh yeah, yeah, but first I think we will quickly go up these stairs here. Oh, we actually, yeah, those stairs just lead up out onto the bow. Okay, never mind, yeah. let's go see the third class like, dining room. I'm just like, I'm pretty sure that's where it leads. Uh, was this on, actually no, this wasn't on Jay Killen's Titanic either, so this is another... Uh, first, this is another first time for a room to be featured on the, on Stormworks. I believe it was in Zeke ones, though. Oh, wait, no, you're right, you're right. Okay, never mind, so it's a second it's just time. The, it's just the first time that the, all these rooms have been seen one-to-one -one scale. Yes, one-to-one -one completely accurately. Or I'd say very close to one-to-one. -to -one. It's not exactly one-to-one, yeah. -one, but very close. On games like these with uh, grid-based building systems, getting a exact one-to-one -one is basically impossible. But when you're walking around it, it does feel one-to-one, -one, and that's all yes. that matters. What's up with the black spot on the floor? I feel like uh, that's actually... I have, I have no idea. It's just a thing that was on Scotland Road. Yeah, because like, I've seen that in just about every version of Scotland Road I've seen. I just I don't know what it is. I the assume it's like fence or something, because on Honor and Glories... Um, Scotland Road, it looks like grills. Yeah. Yes, this is quite a, this is quite an interesting room. And then also, there is an error when you go down here where you can't actually fit through the, between the, the 
because of the chairs here, so go down the other way. I need to remove the one chair that's blocking you. Oh, you're right. So I just noticed that. Yeah, go, go down see... the other staircase. Yeah. So do we have to head a little bit further aft, and then we can just, you know, check it out. And then it's just along here. Oh, and I found another issue. <laughs> a big brown wall. Oh, yes, that is... Huh. When you use the paint bucket, it fills planes instead of just like, ah, fill the thing I want you to do the thing I want no, you I'm, to do. I'm pre I'm pre oh, yeah, and there's also stairs missing. Um, I think that there is because ah. I was copy and pasting um, uptakes for the boiler rooms. Actually, yeah. Here you... we have a really interesting room. Third class dining saloon. All the tables are set. Honestly, it's one of the most interesting rooms on the Titanic with how it's split in half and just the general feeling of it is quite strange. Yes. And I, if I'm not mistaken, on the um, walls here would be advertisements for other ships. Yes. But I decided not to add them because it would just con contribute to lag too much and I didn't really think it'd be worth it. Considering the percentage of people who would play this who would actually go down there. Yeah. Most people aren't going to fully explore it. I definitely am. I absolutely love this. So if I'm not mistaken, yeah, just... this would just be a full wall on the Titanic, right? Yes. It's a bit of an interesting difference there. But there is some sources saying that it was a wall in Olympic, but... Huh. I mean... Why am I heading not... further aft? There's nothing back there. Yeah, it's just a blank wall. So, do we want to quickly right. hop over to the stern and check out second class, or...? Yes, we'll go to second class, and then we'll look at crew areas. So we're going to head all the way back up to the boat deck. Give us one second to do that, and we will be back with you. And then... Yeah, then we can look at crew areas, and I think what we should do is start with from the top of the bow on that one. The... Yep. Because there is the farm and stairwell on the bow where you can get straight down to the boiler rooms. Yes. And you don't have to access them from Scotland Road. Yep. Because I think... And I think that would have... Because I don't... If I remember correctly, when they were... Um, when they built the Titanic, those doors that go from Scotland Road to the um, boiler rooms and stuff are only meant to be really uh, escape hatches, right? Yeah. Which is insane, because there's another escape hatch that li that runs further up. And actually, I'm excited to show you guys that. We'll do it on the last boiler room, boiler room one. Because, you know, when I watch sort of like any sort of like Titanic media, where they close the watertight doors and all the, the firemen are all panicking because you can't get through the doors, I now think, just go up on the door in Scotland Road. But <laughs> there's also that stuff that's like, I'm not entirely sure they would have thought about that because they haven't been through that door before. So they yeah, might have surely they would see that there's ladders up there. They might have actually been panicking. I don't know. Um, I don't know enough about. Oh, we actually. Why, why don't we just? Why don't we go through here on the B through the B deck corridor on the door there? Remember, there's a door. Yes. To the bow from here. Uh, I thought we were gonna hop over to the stern and do second class first. So we were. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll just go through the other corridor then. Yes, and then we'll. Head the rest of the way up. We'll go on to A deck and then just go up the little, Don't... the weird little dodgy staircase which in next between the yeah. third and fourth. Actually, no, it's right next to the third funnel. I don't know. I mean, I know which staircase I'm talking about, but yeah, no, it's like. Is it is it the one that goes through the the galleys and everything? No, it's right next, and it goes specifically from the A deck promenade area to the boat deck. There is no other rooms connecting to that one. Oh, so is it, is it that one staircase that's sort of outside? Yeah. That's like kind of oh, yeah. halfway outside. It's weird. Yeah, that's the, that's there. I mean, I'd be surprised if it wasn't, because that's actually one of the, another one of the rooms that's actually featured on most Titanics. And yeah, this is actually yeah, also, one of the... You also may notice... See, the... Um, the lower level of this grand circus here, there isn't actually a reception room here. It's just cabins either side. Yes, that's another one of the major differences between the Olympic and the Titanic. But actually, we should go down here, though, to get to second class. 
Well, I was going to start at the boat deck. That way they could see that little area. Oh, yeah, so... Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Cause I'm pretty Silly sure... me. I mean, if you want to go it's down not... through the other way, then... It's not as though I built the ship or something. I don't know the layout. Yep, there was the staircase. I mean, if you really want to go down that way... I just wanted to show them as much of the ship as I could, and I hadn't really shown too much of the boat deck yet, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, have, we haven't actually been in the boat deck at all, apart from the bridge. Yeah. And then heading out here, onto the top, so we think... finally see the light of day again. Uh, we have these lovely... I actually really like this view, just looking over, like, the lounge and stuff. It's yeah. not something you really see too often. It would have been so good, though, to just lie here in a nice day on the Atlantic. It doesn't really go well together, but if there ever was a nice day in the Atlantic, you'd just sit here. There was. With unobstructed views, um, like, until... 1913 when they put all the boats there yeah yeah compass tower on the britannic you still would get that uninterrupted view though yeah you don't get that in britannic <gasps> on the rms britannic yes because they had well and davits along the side to um since they didn't have time to install all the gantry davits yes. they had to add extra well and Dav davits Yes, because the gantry davits were basically mimicked the uh, lifeboat layout from the Titanic. So anyway. The interesting part is that where the emergency boats are, next to the bridge wings, there was, they actually use radio davits there. Yes, I did notice that on the uh, Patrons of the Mediterranean game. That was quite strange. Yeah. So I think for, for Britannic, I'm going to have... Only the forward gantry davits function. Yeah. Because that's what's best for performance. So I'm curious, will yes. will these areas be detailed interior wise? Yep. Yeah, it's just that awesome. none of the the none of the stairways down to the engine room is finished yet. Yeah. The engine room itself isn't done either, so what about the stuff yeah. uh, up here next to the fourth funnel? Is that not finished? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, that, that's finished. There just wasn't anything next to it because, remember, the fourth funnel wasn't actually a bit... A, didn't actually... Well, it wasn't a fake funnel. It just didn't emit smoke. It was sort of just I a mean, ventilator. Yeah, but um, at least in Titanic SOS, they have the dog kennel through this door right here. Yeah, I should probably include them. But then also, an interesting thing you may notice here is that this, like, chimney thing... Oh, that is weird. And this is, oh, that's this the, is for uh, smoke for the fireplace below us. And if I'm not mistaken, the they rerouted that back to the fourth funnel for the Titanic. Yep. And then, yeah, that's in the little view down to the smoking room. And then up the top there, we have the gear room for the... The, the elevator. Um, or the, it's a really nice view, and it's going to be much better when that's finished. Yeah, that's gonna look. It's gonna look awesome once you have the um, the after stuff finished. But just looking at this, it's just it's just like the photograph, with, which was taken here. Then it just reminds me of being back in um, Honor and Glory demo four or one. Yeah, just like it. Eh, it's close. I mean, again, the grid yeah, system and... messes with a lot of stuff, but. Yeah, the doors there, I really need to change them because you can't really sort of fit them through. I need to change the the way the doors hinge. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Heading down. Because you can't really know these things when you're building. Yeah. Heading down the staircase. Oh, you can use directional arrows. Those are pretty nice. Yeah. This is also quite an interesting piece, like an interesting stained glass piece that was on the A deck. The only part of second class that was on A deck is what we're standing on right now. Yep. A and then down here, second class where was, it starts to get interesting. Uh, A deck was regarded was mostly for uh, first class. Actually, no, it was really only for first class. Yep. And then this is the library, correct? Or no, the smoking uh, room. No smoking room. I always mix up which one's which. They're like, ah, yes, the two big second class rooms that are on top of each other. And then I tried to replicate the most hated flooring on any Olympic class ship. Huh. I don't know why people have so much hatred towards the 
It doesn't look the floor. particularly bad, in my opinion. And also through here. Watch as I could just get booted from the like, Titanic <laughs> historical community. Like, how dare you? How dare you? Like floor tiling. Okay, so... Yeah, out here we have more second class ah. um, deck space. And you can see... The well deck... From... Well deck was not second class, that was third class. I mean, yes, but it does seem that... It, is, it does look to be furnished. Or at least fully well, done. Yeah, the well deck has nothing aft of that as though. Yeah. This is the furthest aft thing that is at all finished. So, you know. Yep, so probably within a day or so, the whole exterior will be furnished. And then also, if you come down here for a second, you can see the gates all the way down there. So that's sort of where the second class promenade ended. And if I'm not mistaken, that got cut down a little bit um, on yep. the Titanic. Like, that because when they extended the a la carte restaurant, so where I'm standing right now, there was a wall because the a la carte restaurant was extended outwards. And then this is where second class would board. Uh, right below there, here, Because right? of the ramps. Yep. Because of the ramps there. Yeah. Uh, heading... I think we... Actually, no, we should probably go on the, the other second class staircase. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Which has never to. been seen before. Yep. Brand new to Stormworks, once again. Yeah, this one is much less... Second class isn't really finished yet at all. And also, I did notice here, piping. I need to remove that. Oh, yeah. yeah this is really... Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? It will... This is going to look absolutely fantastic once all, everything is completed. Just, the thing I love about the second class staircase is how you can just look right down. You're right. It is, it is fantastic. It reminds but... me of... Everything below there, that's unfinished yet, at the moment. Mm -hmm. and then but this deck here is not. We have the And then we have the second class library. Yep. And that about finishes it for uh, second class, no? Uh, yep. And within the next few days, the exterior poop deck and the... Dining room. Um, yep, dining room will be... Completed. As well. And then also through here, this is. Well, down there, it isn't really finished, it's just the same. Yeah. Dirk is going all the way down to F deck, not connected to anything. We have some yeah. second class open space out here. Yeah. Give me one second just to run over, run over there. And yeah. And then, what? just what I was saying earlier. Yes, there is a door there, and that door leads to first class. That. For crew. Yep. So that concludes our tour of second class so far, of what's in second class at least. So I'm just going to quickly actually no clip over to the bow. Okay. And yeah, on, we're going to start our tour of the crew spaces on the well deck, on the forward well deck. Okay. Um, there we are. Right, so and now for the room that I have been building up a lot, actually, over the course yep. of this gameplay. Because so all the crew, all the crew spaces. I'm not... But I think when when the turbine rooms, generator rooms, and the full engine room is fully finished, you're going to blow your mind. I mean, this room alone was enough to blow my mind, because he's only seen, like, one video that even remotely went over this room. And look at this. Yep. The anchor gear room. Absolutely ridiculous. Like, I love everything about this. So just expect the same level of detail for the engine rooms and generator rooms. And, yeah, I am excited for those. Those are going to look awesome when we... When and you can see down there, them. that's another car um, cargo hold from up on the bow. Nice. But now, we should go through this door here, into the farm and stairwell. Well, it isn't really a stairwell, I made it a ladder, because you can't really do spiral staircases in Stormworks. But you may also notice a unique well, we're gonna um, quickly... wall colouring. 
we're going to quickly hurry this along because I don't feel like waiting for it to spawn again. And yeah, just... So yeah. A unique wall color in here. Yes. So all the crew spaces were sort of in a... Yep. Cream color. Now I'm quickly so hopping. So you can just... Yep, hop down there. There's not, 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 there's nothing really on this at all until you get to the bottom deck of where the boilers are. Yep, and I am excited to do that. So let's just quickly hop over there because uh, dinner is just about ready and I need to... Yep, so down here into the fireman's passage. And it looks... Oh, actually, I, I, want, I want to turn fog on. Yeah. And then, yeah, here's the Fireman's Passage. Absolutely wonderful. Yep, so the reason why I turned Fog on is because it makes the boiler rooms look absolutely amazing. Because yeah. it makes all the, the heat look really misty and everything. And, yeah, here are the... You did also miss the cargo holds a bit. I mean, yes, I just... I'm a little bit short pressed for time, so... Yep. Actually, and then yeah, quickly I'll hopping... Hopping into here, we have the coal bunkers. Absolutely wonderful. Yep, so they go right up. Mm -hmm. And then it's pretty much the same thing, because if you quickly walk along here... And then, yeah, it's um, the same thing from boiler room to boiler room, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, but the cool thing is, is if, if you walk over here, and then look through here like that, you can then look down every single boiler. I'll turn down the fog for this, it's just that the, the heat from the boilers looks much yeah. better. If I turn down the fog there, you can look right down the middle. Which is abs every single one. absolutely amazing. And now I'm going to... And the watertight doors do function. Yep. Uh, where on do the I... bridge, there's a toggle. Let me just quickly hop up there. Actually, you should probably be the one to do that. Okay. So, I'd actually recommend standing like right, right at the end, end of the corridor. Where you can see it and we'll close them. Yeah. Okay, so closing them in three, two, one. There they all go. One by one. That is actually awesome. I love that. Yeah, so they are going a bit slower because it is multiplayer. But in single player, they would go a bit quicker. Yeah, so the fake door shuts, and then the real, the real one. door then shuts. And then I'm going to yeah, quickly then... show off the catwalks. Yep, and also the ladder, which leads all the way up to the boat deck from here. Yep. That's part of it, so quickly heading up. So they are a bit difficult to traverse. Which is That's probably what... not good because I'm about to try and speedrun this, so. Wait. Yeah, actually, I don't believe these ones had an. These ones didn't actually have an access from this side. So it's the other side where you can access them. So just there. jump over there. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so that was really interesting. It's really interesting that you could only access them from one side upwards. And I think it the side depends on which boiler room you're in. Yep, and also I noticed another error. That is... Oh dear. You haven't added one of the ladders? No, it's painting. I've painted stuff. I've painted brown. Yeah. And like loads of places all the way up here for some reason. I don't know how that happened. And so, then... there you've got the door, which goes into Scotland Road, and then a ladder, which goes all the way up to Bolt Deck. And I'm going to quickly... And then, yeah, so there's Scotland Road. And then just... Yep. And that actually concludes my time for today. So, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye, everyone. Goodbye.